right. All right, guys, I work on Fords now. All because of my neighbor. 2017 Ford Escape. It died on the interstate. Had it towed here. It's not starting. So we're running through everything, trying to figure out what's going on. I'm going to leave the key on because we found the issue. Ford has this mega... Oh, it's wanting to start right now. <laughs> Ford has this mega fuse panel that's tucked up in front of the battery. The air intake goes here, and the uh, these fuses are under a cover. You can hear the car is just like, it's going crazy right now. This is our uh, main ignition fuse, and if you shake this panel, see the lights are starting to come on? There it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. So there's that fuse, it's not blown but it, the casing is loose. So what happens is it goes, when you're going down the road, it vibrates and then it kills the power to the motor, which was convenient for Allie when she was stuck in traffic. <laughs> well, it's the next day. Rod just got that new fuse in the car and he said that was 100% the issue. He went to the local parts store. They didn't have it, so he had to order one. And how you could test this at home is turn your ignition key to the on position and give that panel a shake. If the car acts like it wants to start, you have an issue with one of those fuses. Now you can grab a voltmeter as well and test each fuse and make sure you have 12 volts at each one. The one that we were having the issue with was an intermittent uh, volt reading. So we would be at 12 volts and then it would go down to like four volts and that wasn't enough to turn the car on. And when you took the fuse out, you couldn't tell that there was an issue with it at all. But anyway, I hope this solves your problem with your Ford Escape and I hope you guys have a great day.